Hello friends, welcome to BSV Solution. My name is Lokesh Gandhi. In this session, we will see how to create an accounting calendar in Oracle Fusion Supply Chain Management. So this is our today's agenda, where we will cover what, what is the use of accounting calendar in our enterprise and how it creates in our application. Later on, we will cover the financial year and how it used in the accounting calendar. After that, what is the types of period in our application? And at the last, what is the use of adjust, adjustment period in our accounting calendar? So in our Oracle Fusion, we have many applications like GL, AP, AR, inventory management, Oracle manage, order management, purchasing. So under these applications, we perform many business transactions. For example, we take one example uh, like purchasing application. So where we capture many business transaction details like transaction dates, item name, item code, item description, item amount, and many more details. So these all basic information capture when we create any transaction in any application. So if you want to create any transaction and you want to capture the date in our system, or we can say you want to maintain all the dates in the system, we have to create a system accounting calendar. So the accounting calendar defines the time period, including the exact time for the business transaction. And it defines the period often called the enterprise period. And the accounting calendar is also useful and also used for the purpose for uh, reporting. And if you want to create accounting calendar for a client, you should know for which country you are going to implement the accounting calendar. If you are going to do the implementation for the US client, you should know what is the financial year. What is the financial year for the US? It means we have creating, when we creating the accounting calendar based on the financial year. So it is very significant point we have to consider in the accounting calendar. Now, when we talk about the period type, we have a different period type uh, in our application, like uh, weekly, quarterly, monthly, yearly. And when we look at the accounting calendar, monthly period, monthly period is very default period and we will use it. And if you are going to implement for the US client, and you create the calendar with the help of financial year and you can take one period and you want to take period. So how many period we have? And uh, we are taking the monthly time period. Monthly type is a period. So it generates the 12 period. But when we are closing the books in the end of the year and uh, you want to record you want to record some adjustment entry which entries uh, because certain transactions may stuck or hold in the middle of the process where you can't finalize anything or you you can say uh, certain things you don't have to record in the respective application because as uh, adjustment you want to record in the system but you can create one more period so you can record all the entries in the system. So this additional period, you can call the adjustment period. So minimum, you can have at least one adjustment period when you create uh, your accounting calendar. So this is also a significant point you have to consider in the accounting calendar. So let's move on to the application and uh, see we'll see how to create an accounting calendar in our supply chain management application. So this is our application. Click on this setting and action. Click on setting, setup and maintenance. Click on this task bar and click on this manage implementation project. In our previous video, we will create it. We created a implementation project, which name is Tata implementation project. So click on that. 
and uh, we have have a financial offerings so under this financial offering we create accounting calendar so search for the task name is accounting calendar search it and click on the manage accounting calendar under the financial and manage accounting calendar click on go to task and uh, under the manage accounting calendar click on this create icon so this is the page where we can create the accounting calendar so first we have to enter the name of this calendar uh, let's enter some description Uh, let's enter that start date. So we are going to enter the first of Jan is the starting date of this accounting calendar. And this is the period frequency. So we have a different type of uh, period type, which is the monthly, quarterly, weekly, yearly. But right now we are go with, we are going with the monthly. Now we have a user defined prefix. So this is the prefix for the period. And this is the separate separator. And the format for this calendar year, we have a different type of format. So you can select as per your requirement. And this is the first period name. This is Tata Gen 2, which is populated from the Tata prefix and the first start date. And we have option of budgeting control only. If your if this calendar, this accounting calendar is used for the budgetary purpose. So you can check for this box as you go with this accounting calendar. So we have an adjustment period frequency. We have a many option like uh, once at the beginning of the year and once at the end of the year and uh, once mid year, once end year and uh, twice a year end and other option and the quarterly. So once at the year end, we'll go with that. Click on next. So this is the name and the description. And this is total 13 period type. 12 is the our accounting calendar for the 22 year, 22 financial year, and one for the adjustment period. You can see over here. One for the adjustment adjustment period. The period number is 13. Now Click on save and close. You can also make some other period name as the adjustment period. Now click on save and close. Let's find out. So this is our accounting calendar gets created. So this is how you can create accounting calendar in our Oracle Fusion supply chain management. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you so much.